over all of this. So this is the Demon Souls remaster or remake or whatever the hell you want to call it. And we're starting a new game here. I've played a little bit deeper into this game before. It is pretty difficult. Demon Souls was a PlayStation 3 game, not a PlayStation 4 or 5 game. It was made by FromSoft, uh, the creators of like Armored Core and all that kind of stuff. These game types that they some people call Souls-like games are actually like the big thing that the studio is now known for. But this was actually created not by FromSoft, but by Bluepoint, which is not at the time, but it is now a first-party PlayStation studio. And I have actually gone, and I've, I believe in an earlier episode of Until I Die, I went and I played the original Demon Souls on the PlayStation 3. Don't imagine I got very far into it. It's a tough game. I mean, it is punishing. It expects you to learn how to play it. See, look at this. <laughs> See, I took a hit already. It's really stupid. What kind of weapon do I have? All right. So I'm going to see how far I can get in this. So I've created a new character just for the sake of this playthrough. And, I don't know, maybe this episode will last 10 minutes. Maybe it'll last 15 minutes. Maybe I'll die in one. Who the hell knows? You know, I've been wondering a little bit, thinking over it in my mind. Of course, where else am I going to think it? What is the definition or the difference between a remake and a remaster? Because I would like to think that a remake is essentially an entirely new creation. Resident Evil 2 had a remake for the... Uh, in 2019. Oh, shit. Ah! Jumps. Resident Evil 2 and then Resident Evil 3 had a remake entire from the ground up recreation of the game and the remake ended up being substantially different than the original then you look at say grand theft auto grand theft auto 3 vice city uh, san andreas that game saw a re-release in for modern consoles in 2021 and the game, aside from introducing a lot of new weird visual glitches and bugs, is essentially the same game. But I wonder, like, what should we be considering? Where should we draw the line between a remake and a remaster? And the reason why I'm thinking about this is because I'm looking at this game here. I'm saying, okay, Demon Souls. This game looks very different. I mean... The PlayStation 3 game looked all right for its day, but it didn't look anything nearly this good. All of the graphics have been torn out of this game and replaced. It feels the same, though. As far as I can tell, I'm playing the exact same game. So, I don't know if... Like, what is the... Um... Oh, shit. Jump. As far as I can tell, I'm playing the exact same game as came out for the PlayStation 3 back in 2008 or whenever the hell that game came out. So why is that? Well, I mean, I've looked into and listened to interviews and all that kind of stuff from Bluepoint, the studio that did this. And it seems as though a lot of the games that they've been doing recently have, like the remasters, the remakes, whatever you want to call them, have been not entirely new recreations like what you saw with the Resident Evil game. They have been more taking the core of the original game, tearing out all the visual stuff, and then creating something that looks completely new on top of it. And it seems as though they take a certain kind of pride in that. It's not simply 
a complete new recreation. They are building what looks to be a new game off of the bones of the original. Yeah, get away! Run away! <laughs> Jump. Got nothing for me. So, do we call this a remake or a remaster? Because on the definition I proposed a few minutes ago, it's definitely a remaster. The original game is at the core of this. The original system code, even though it's been changed around and optimized to run on PlayStation 5, because PS3 code isn't going to just run on a PS5, they've completely redone... Uh, they've engineered that game code to run on the modern system. Come on now. There we go. Ah. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's still the original game code running in there. So is this a remake or is this a remaster? People call it a remake. I'd say it's a remaster. The original game is in there. But then that gets a little confusing because I think about those Grand Theft Auto, the definitive collection or whatever the hell they call it. That buggy disaster that people are bitching about nowadays. What is that? It's not a remake because it seems as though mostly the game is identical and not nearly as different as this is. But I don't think the core original Grand Theft Auto 3, for example, is running at the core of the definitive editions or trilogy or whatever. Because it's not running on the same game engine. The, uh, what was it, uh, Renderware? The original Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City and stuff was running on? Renderware is an obsolete, long obsolete engine. It's running on, like, Unreal Engine 4. So that core code of the original game is not intact. In fact, it seems though what really is being carried over are, like, graphical assets. And then they are... They take the graphical assets, they import them in, they take the scripting, they translate it, and then import it in. So it seems as though, actually, since that system, that core system software is different as opposed to this game, which it's the same, I would say maybe you could say that uh, Grand Theft Auto is more of a... Oh, shit, I thought I could get that. The Grand Theft Auto games are more of a remake than this is. Hmm. Huh. Now, uh, there are the other examples, like Resident Evil's clearly a remake, because... Nothing as far as like, oh shit, ah, oh, fucking, <laughs> nothing of the core game seems to be intact. We're dealing with an entirely new creation. I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. <laughs> Who's uh, shooting arrows at me? There's another one out there, I know. There's another one. In fact, there's two. Grass jelly. I need to switch out my gear. I want that. And let's get this in here. All right. Ah, you bitch. Aren't you on fire? <laughs> Give me this. There's another player there. Anyway, what the hell was I talking about? What was my point? I don't know if I had one. <laughs> this game, in my opinion, though, I'm going to say that this is a remaster. Not a remake. Just like Shadow of the Colossus, the one that they did... Um, the Shadow of the Colossus game that they did in, like, 2018. 
to a PlayStation 4 looks completely different because they tore out all the graphics, but it's the original game. Alright, come on, bro. Ah, you're dead. <laughs> well, it took some damage from that fall. Crossbow. Really shouldn't have bothered with that. I'm not gonna be. Oh, you fucker. Wait, did you survive that? I'm not in a new area, am I? No, no, I'm not. I guess I should go and get that dude. Get that soul in there. But it's kind of like contrary to the whole point of this video to drag this kind of thing out. So I'm going to move on. I've actually already survived longer than I expected to. And this is kind of weird uh, recording commentary on a PlayStation 5 using its own integrated um, software to record video because I've got to hold the controller up to my face because that's where the microphone is. <laughs> Come on, dude. Throw your, throw your shit. Yep. Psycho. Ah, no patience. I gotta maintain my stamina a little bit better. I'm not geared up all that well to be able to, uh, to, or leveled up or whatever to do enough damage. Whoa, where'd you come from? Be able to kill a dude with these guys anyway with a single flurry of attacks. I run out of stamina and I'm not really in a position to hold the shield. I like how you can see blood stains and then watch how other people died. So you can see what's sort of see what's gonna come up ahead without uh, in a way see what's gonna come up ahead without risking your own ass. Oh shit. More of them than I expected. Alright, that's uh Ah, go away. Run away. <laughs> there you go. That's another one. Keep them healing items up. They are saving my ass. I think there's some archers out here I should probably deal with first. Yep. Although I don't, I don't think this is. Oh, where'd you come? I did not even see you, bro. I don't think this is the area I should be. The direction I need to be going. Getting a lot of souls here for one playthrough. Ah, shit, it's one of these fellas. Go away. I don't want none of this. Yo, what an asshole. <laughs> Almost didn't make it. <laughs> Almost had to end this episode there. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Ah! 
Did he survive? I think he survived. I've got an arrow sticking out of my neck. <laughs> I think it's the direction I need to go. It's down this way. And that archer might still be yeah, still alive. <laughs> Not anymore. I think I need to go this way. The whole level layout, just some big labyrinth. Two for one. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. All right. Yeah, this is it. I got lost here. <laughs> I got lost here initially because I didn't quite know which direction to go. Do you have any friends? You here alone? I could actually retreat and upgrade a weapon or something by now, couldn't I? Maybe survive a little bit longer, but I'm actually just planning on doing this until I die. Right, this got tough. Run away! Ah, oh, run away! Run away! You don't want none of this shit. <laughs> Friggin' hell. He survived that? What the f <laughs> oh, there it is. I actually almost had him. Almost had him, but I didn't have him. And that's the end of the episode. <laughs>